Mike Vassell knocking on the door for Mets rotation spot. And this is an article from MLB.com. When the Mets began dealing off players in earnest before the trade deadline, shipping Max Scherzer to Texas, Mark Hanna to Milwaukee, and so on and so on. Mike Vassell was busy playing for AAA Syracuse at Lehigh Valley. Each time the Mets completed the trade, the team sent one of Vassell's teammates up to the majors as a replacement. The trend quickly became hard to ignore. Quote, you're looking at yourself and you're seeing the rotation and you're like, well, there's the big league rotation. And then after that, it's us, said Vassell, the Mets' number nine prospect and top-ranked minor league pitcher. So it becomes a lot more real for you, but at the same time, you've got to be present and enjoy the process and the ride and just the everyday grind. Since his promotion to the highest rung of the minors in mid-June, Vassal has been working toward that end. It, was, it hasn't been seamless, following a strong showing over 10 starts at AA Binghamton, including a 7.1 strikeout-to-walk ratio. Vassal initially struggled to adjust to the different baseball, automated ball strike system, and the more advanced hitters he found at AAA. On his first eight starts there, he produced a 7.04 ERA. At that point, as Syracuse pitching coach Kyle Driscoll put it, Vassell went right to the drawing board again. With Driscoll's help, the right-hander worked to optimize his fastball, fastball to account for the smallest seams on the AAA ball, making some tweaks to improve the ride. Otherwise known as induced vertical break, or the illusion of upward movement on that pitch. Vassell also began focusing on the art of throwing strike one. During his bullpen sessions between starts, he instructed the catcher not to bother setting up on the corners. Vassell instead aimed for the middle of the plate to break the habit of nibbling. Quote, something that he's done extremely well is being able to make the changes and take them into game and use them. The turning point came on August 8th, when Vassell took a no-hitter into the ninth inning at Scranton. Over a four-game, four-star stretch, beginning that night, he produced that 1.75 ERA. Although he struggled in his most recent outing back at Lehigh Valley, he now feels he's far close to where he needs to be with his stuff and execution. Quote, I wouldn't say that I've gotten everything figured out, Basil said. I don't, but I would say that I've got a better understanding of how to stay more consistent here. What all this means for the, his short-term future is uncertain. Well aware of the business side of the game, Vassal knows it works against him at this, at this point in his career. Because Vassal won't be Rule 5 eligible this winter, the Mets don't need to place him on the 40-man roster to protect him. As such, they have little motivation to call him up now, regardless of how much the experience might benefit him. Longer term, Vassal has at least set himself up to compete for a job in next year's rotation, whether at a spring training or early in the season. Quote, you can't just hope it happens too much, Vassal said, while acknowledging how much a call-up would mean to him. The Mets have really guided me in the right direction in terms of development, strength, and conditioning, everything. So I trust them completely. Whether they, whatever they do with me, I know it's for a bigger reason, a longer reason down the road.